everyone. I'm a technician in the ELISA department of Wuhan Boster Biological Engineering Co. Limited. Because of its high sensitivity and specificity, ELISA is widely used in the detection of antigens and antibodies in clinical and scientific research. ELISA experiments are relatively simple to operate, but small mistakes can lead to false positives or false negatives in your data. Today, I will demonstrate the protocol of ELISA by showing you every step of the assay. First of all, let's take a look at what a complete ELISA process is like. It can be roughly divided into nine steps. Dissolve the standard. Dilute and add sample. Add antibody. Wash plate. Add avidin biotin complex. Wash plate. Add TMB and develop color. Add stop solution. Analyze data. This is the Boster ELISA kit we will use for our ELISA experiment. Okay, next, I will demonstrate the ELISA experimental process using the human adiponectin ELISA kit, catalog number EK0595. Precautions. One, check whether the components and specifications of the kit are consistent with the instructions. Two, before use, spin down the two tubes containing biotin-labeled antibody and avidin peroxidase complex, ABC. Step one, dissolve the standard, dilute the sample and add the sample. Add one milliliter of sample diluent to the standard. Mix repeatedly using a vortexer. Dilute the standard to seven concentrations in sequence, according to the instructions. Only add sample diluent to the last well as zero well. The samples are diluted in different ratios based on their types. In this experiment, the sample was diluted 10 times and 100 times respectively. For the tenfold dilution, add 20 UL sample to 180 UL sample diluent. Mix well. For the 100-fold dilution, take 20 UL of tenfold diluted sample and add it to 180 UL of sample diluent. Mix well. Take out the desired microtiter plate and equilibrate to room temperature. Add to each well 100 UL of diluted standards and samples to the microtiter plate. Add the sealing film and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 90 minutes. After the incubation, aspirate the liquid in the plate. Precautions 1. The ELISA plate needs to be equilibrated to room temperature before adding samples. Two. The dissolved standard should be stored according to the instructions after the standard composition is completed. 3. When adding the sample, suck and release once to exhaust air bubbles. 4. Incubate the cells at the specified temperature and time. 5. When multiple kits are used at the same time, they should be marked and avoid stacking the microplates. Step 2. Add antibodies. Prepare biotinylated antibodies at 1 of 100. Add 100 UL of the prepared biotin-labeled antibody to the ELISA plate. Cover with sealing film and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes. Precautions 1. Prepare 1 milliliter diluted antibodies per strip. Take 10 UL of antibody and add 990 UL of antibody diluent. 2. The antibody should be prepared and mixed within 30 minutes before use. 3. It is recommended to use platoon guns with 8 tips to avoid the incubation times being too different among wells. 4. Use a new sealing membrane for incubation each time to avoid cross-contamination. Step 3. Wash the board. After the reaction, wash 3 times with 1x washing solution. Add 300 UL of washing buffer to each well. Soak for one minute each time. Precautions 1. It is recommended to use an automatic plate washer to wash the plate. 2. When washing the plate manually, try to pat the plate well as dry as possible. 3. Adjust the soaking time according to the model of the plate washer. Step 4. Add ABC. Prepare ABC at 1 of 100 within 15 minutes before use. The preparation method is the same as antibody preparation. The prepared ABC is added to the ELISA plate at 100 UL per well. Cover with a new sealing film 
and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Precautions 1. ABC is prepared and mixed within 15 minutes before use. 2. During ABC incubation, start warming TMB in a 37 degrees Celsius incubator for 30 minutes to equilibrate the temperature. Step 5. Wash the board. After the reaction, wash 5 times with 1x washing solution. Add 300 UL of washing solution to each well. Soak for 90 seconds each time. Step 6. Add TMB to develop color. Add 90 UL of TMB chromogenic solution to each well. Cover with sealing film and react at 37 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes in the dark. Precautions 1. When the first plate is added, cover the TMB to avoid exposure to light. 2. The used TMB is useless and cannot be recycled. 3. The color development time can be appropriately advanced or postponed according to the specific color development situation. Step 7. Add stop solution. Add 100 UL of stop solution to each well after the reaction. Microplate reader selects 450 nm reading. Precautions 1. When adding stop solution, the pipette tip should be above the liquid level to avoid cross-contamination. 2. Add liquid fast to prevent false positives. Final step. Data processing. Precautions 1. It is recommended to use a 4-parameter curve, 4PL, to fit the data. 2. The R value of the curve is generally not less than 2.9s. Okay, that is the full ELISA experiment protocol. If you want to get more experimental tutorials, please subscribe below and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.